Hiya! Um, today I'm going to show you how to make um, a sock snake. Here he is, or a sock caterpillar, whatever you want to call him. And it's literally very, very easy to make. Can you see that? So, what you need is an old sock. So it could be any, any colour, any size, just an old sock that you don't use anymore. So that's the first thing that you need because this is for his body. So I'm going to just put him there a minute so I can show you what we do. So you get your sock and then you need some stuffing. So you can either use proper stuffing like this or you could even use cotton wool or if you haven't got anything like that you could just use rolled up newspaper both of them will work absolutely fine and all you do is you get your sock and try and sort of turn it inside out a little bit so you can get in there and you're just going to put your stuff in right inside and push it right to the end like that you see so you, what you're trying to do is make like a little head I'm going to shove some paper in there as well and you just sort of squish it in just so it's kind of like a head you can see like that and you can make it as big or as little as you want so if you want it a bit bigger just keep squishing your paper in so then to secure it what you need to use is either a rubber band or you can just use some thread or string anything that you might have at home okay so if you're using a rubber band this is quite a big rubber band so I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller you just get your rubber band and wrap it round that bit that you've stuffed and then you just keep going round until it gets tighter Tighter. Okay, it's another one. There. So you're trying to start, sort of make it secure like that. Okay. And then you need to put some more of your stuffing in. So you get some more newspaper or whatever you're using, and you stuff it in there like that. And again, you can make it as big or as little as you want. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it a little bit smaller than the head. So I'm just going to get some more newspaper. So literally, you just tear a piece of newspaper off. And scrunch it up. And just pack it in. Like that. And just give it a squeeze so that you can get the right shape. And then you're ready to tie your next one. So I'll do this one with a little bit of string. So I'm just going to cut that. It's a bit more fiddly with thread or string, but it's just to show you that you can use either. You just tie it. And then tie it again. Make sure you knot it so it doesn't come undone. And then just trim that and then you've got another part of the body like that and you go all the way along right to the end so that you end up with something like this and what I've done is put a little bit of ribbon in between just to cover up the rubber bands really or the thread so you can use whatever you might have a bit of ribbon um, and just cut a little bit off like that and then just tie it around where your rubber band is like that then you could use coloured wool or um, I don't know any ribbon that you might have got on birthday presents anything like that really 
So you could tie them all on or you could just leave it like that, it's up to you. So then I'm going to do my caterpillars, little antennae. So what I've had to use is a straw because I didn't have anything else. Um, if you have pipe cleaners, that would be perfect. Um, but I've used a straw. So I'll show you what you do. So if you just get a paper straw like this and you just bend it in half, Um, like that, you see? And then all I've done is I've sort of squished it underneath the bit behind his head, like that. You see? So it looks like little antennas. There we go. And then you can use buttons or you could use wobbly eyes if you've got some little wobbly eyes. Because what I did was stick the buttons on and the little wobbly eyes make his face. But if you haven't got any buttons or anything, what you could use is get a little bit of paper and get your scissors and just cut a little circle. And you could just use paper and stick them on like that. And then you could get a pen. Hold on a minute. Get my pen out. And just make a little eye. Just do his eye for you. So if you haven't got any buttons or anything, you could just use paper and draw his eye on like that. And what I used was, um, <clears throat> I used a glue gun, but you can use PVA glue uh, or even uh, a glue stick. We'll stick these on. And you can give him a funny face, whatever sort of face you want. And if you've got any old buttons, they're quite good for faces. Like that. And then you've got your very own little sock pet. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, bye.